Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Here we are on the side of the road. If y'all saw the previous video, y'all would know why. Um, anyways, we are here right before Dallas. Um, I mean, technically it's kind of already Dallas, but whatever. Not technically, technically, not technically. I don't know. Anyways, we are about to take off, guys. Just finished my pre-trip. And um, yeah, we are heading to what is it what is it warrensburg warrensburg missouri i believe um so yeah we should be there by honestly i don't even know what time it is 11 it's 11 19 so we should be there i think around seven something like that it's just a drop off at a dc so it doesn't really matter but Anyways, guys, yep, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm about to take off. We're gonna go take a shower. I am pretty sure I know what pilot I'm gonna go to to take a shower. It's gonna be, um, I forgot the little town, but it's in Oklahoma. It's one of the first pilots in Oklahoma. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stop there, fuel up, and uh, take a shower. So let's get this day started. Let's get on the road. Right here for a little bit. 
Hopefully it calms down. And we can keep this going here later on. Oh man, this is uh... Head northwest for West Furlow. In a quarter mile, merge on to I-49 North. It is uh... Yeah, it's pretty bad, man. It's like, it's coming down a little bit. So I'm gonna wait like about... Go I'll do it here real quick. I'm gonna wait like, probably like 15 minutes, see if it stops a little bit. And uh, we'll keep this going, hopefully. So we can get this thing dropped off. Yep, I was right guys, so about 10 minutes, 10 minutes later, it passed by, we're good to go. I don't feel the wind as hard as it was right now, but we'll, we'll find out. But it looks like it was going, um, we're going north. It looks like the storm was going south. So we should be all right. Uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, I just went ahead and heated up some food because I was a little hungry. So heated up some food, some meal preps that my wife finally got for me. Babe, if you're freaking watching this, it's about time. <laughs> But anyways, uh, let's keep on trucking. All right, all right. So after, oh man, oh man, oh man. After that long, long um, ride this way, we finally made it. On, we finally made it to the drop off. They gave us our spot we're gonna drop this thing off and luckily there is a um, truck stop right in front of this place so we're gonna call it a night there why because i only have 58 minutes left and we are we are an hour and 12 minutes from our next pickup tomorrow so yeah we're not gonna make it but the good thing is that since we did have to stop, we lost time, all that stuff. Um, and uh, there was a storm going on pretty bad. They actually sent me a message um, and they let me know that if I had to stop because of the storm or anything like that, it's totally fine. I just... I just had to let them know uh, if I was going to be late or anything like that to uh, my next pickup or my delivery, whatever it is. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hopefully, I said, what the? <laughs> That's weird. Like, y'all see? There's a truck stop right there. So, hopefully, there's still some parking somewhere. Let's see this thing, though. I think it might be empty. Let me put on my glove real quick. Hello. Oh yeah, this thing is empty. All right. Well, let's uh, let's hook up. Looks pretty new. Um. So yeah, let's hook up and uh, get on out of here, man. Well, guys, oh man, it's uh, it's about an hour later from when I last recorded. Uh, there's been a change of plans. So I had said I was gonna stay across from where I um, I delivered. I was gonna stay at that truck stop, but, 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 but we ended up. Turn this off real quick so y'all can see it better. We ended up making it here. Oh man, it looks so weird like that. We ended up making it to our next pickup. I actually had enough time. We made it with 12 minutes to spare. I had enough time. I just, I guess I had to take another 30 minute, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But by the time that I was um, on duty there at the place and all that, um, unloading, getting the other trailer all of that stuff i ended up doing my doing a 30 minute break and i got more time so i was an hour i was about it said an hour and 12 minutes 
away from here when I left over there and I still had an hour and 16 minutes after the 30 minute I did but 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 I um I was moving around um, there in the street oh yes I am here I was moving around there in the streets they're super empty so I was um I was just on yard move you know I'm I was just taking a chill for a little bit uh, 20 miles and under you know but anyways we ended up making it here with 12 minutes to spare and um yeah let's see make sure that didn't change yeah sleeper birth too okay so yeah the check-in door is right there i don't know if y'all remember this place if y'all did see um i think maybe like two weeks ago i was here um check-in door is right there hopefully we get something maybe there maybe i don't know it'll be pretty easy just to turn around and back in there um because i'm definitely not gonna have time by the time i get loaded i'm not gonna get my hours until it's 12 12 it's 12 17 right now so 10 10 17 or whenever i went off duty or sleeper two minutes ago so what 10 15 something like that that's when i'm gonna get my hours back and the appointment here is at 8 30 in the morning so <gasps> oh man yep 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 so that's it for right now guys like i said we made it here but, but look, i can't really tell right now how ugly this place is it literally looks like the moon <laughs> it's even worse over there but i can't really see well guys good morning good morning we just checked in and we got the same door as the last time should be a little bit easier to to back into it so all right guys so just logged out just in case i go over five miles per hour since if the door is uh it's not far but i mean it kind of is so let's go let's go let's see Last time there was a truck right here on this door, right there. So yeah, it was uh, a lot tighter, a lot tighter. Finally, an hour later after coming back from the porta potty over there, I think we're getting loaded. It looked like it, the trailer was moving, so hopefully we are. Oh yeah, there's a, somebody put a, that thing on my car all right well yeah we're definitely getting loaded now so i guess maybe another hour so i decided that while we wait why not go ahead and make some breakfast so my wife had made me a meal prep with a steak and rice but why not add some egg to it make it like um what is, what is it called um Chicken fried, no, not chicken fried rice. Oh, is it chicken fried rice? But steak fried rice? I don't know, but we're making something, man. I'm freaking hungry, and this looks like it could be pretty good. Alright, so I literally just finished making food, and they finished loading me up. So, it was about, uh, let's see, about two hours, I would say. Yep, it's good. All right, about two hours of getting loaded. Um, we are about two minutes from getting our hours back. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and move out the door, park over there while we get our hours back. Technically, do my pre trip or clock it in at, at least. Go get my paperwork and uh, finish my food. So let's go, man. There we go. As soon as I parked, got all my hours back. So 
let's just um start the pre-trip even though i already did it i just need to clock it in there it is all right let's go get our paperwork right, guys well we we left and we came literally across the street to uh a flying j to fuel up real quick and then um yeah get out of here so let's go fuel up halfway there um we stopped to heat up some more food because i didn't finish it earlier and i'm pretty hungry now so we stopped in a little um it's like a little rest area thing um and i'm gonna go ahead and eat up some food while we uh take our 30 minute break because of all the traffic that well not traffic well, actually, yes, it was really bad in Kansas City. But because of all the traffic and uh, construction, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to make it without doing our 30 minute uh, break. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm go ahead and eat and uh, keep on trucking, man. Well, guys, it has happened again. Rain. Up here, but back there, there was a few cars that had spun out and were in the middle of the right in between the highway. Yep, here we are again, man. All right, guys. Well, as y'all can see, we made it. We made it. We made it, man. So we're gonna drop this off right here. Said Zone F. I don't know exactly where it's at, but we are gonna look for it. Anyways, guys, um, I'm trying to hurry up because I have an hour and 50. Oh an hour and 56 minutes left on my clock. So, um, yeah, I'm, I just don't need to go. I mean, the good thing is that it's on my way because we need to go get our next load. Should be ready. I am not gonna take an empty trailer there because the last time we went there and took an empty. They got mad at us for taking an empty because they said they had too many and I don't know what the heck else. But anyways, yeah, it's whatever, man. I'm trying to see where the head zone F is at. it is outside damn it boy <sighs> anyways guys well as y'all can see we got here <sighs> but they just told me that the load is not ready it's not gonna be ready until about they're still preloading it right now so in like another two hours it'll be ready but i only have an hour and 21 minutes so there's really no point for me to stay here so i'm gonna try and find the nearest pilot or something because i think the terminal is a little too far from here um so i'm gonna try and find the nearest pilot so i can go take a shower because i need a shower and uh so we can spend the night because uh yeah they just killed my vibe right here eco lab come on man anyways well yep let's uh let's look for a pilot well good morning guys so Oh man, I couldn't record anything last night because it was such a freaking mess. So the city of Dallas decided to close down a whole freaking highway or a part of the freaking highway completely, um, including some of the access roads. So we tried to get to the pilot, but everything around there was closed. There was no way to get into the pilot. Um, so I was driving around in circles trying to figure out where to go or how to get into the pilot until I figured out that there was no way. Um, so I found a little a little truck stop here, but you had to pay to freaking spend the night. And I was not gonna do that because 
I was gonna already pay for a shower. So yeah, we ended up not even staying there and not even taking a shower. Yeah, so we came to um, this hotel that had parking. I saw it on the map and uh, we spent the night here. Here we are. There's another truck right next to me. So yeah, man, that's the struggles of uh, being in the city late at night trying to find parking because it's either you have to pay, everything is packed, or since it's at night, there's construction going on everywhere. So yeah, freaking sucks. So now I have to drive 30 minutes to uh, go pick up our load that wasn't ready um, yesterday. Hopefully it's ready today. I mean, it should be. Um, and then uh, head on to New Braunfels. Most likely gonna stay home, but we will see. I'll leave that for the next video. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for um, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.